First of all, how does Herbalife make money? So we make money based on the sales of our distributors. So every day our distributors are out there, uh, they're talking to customers, they're introducing the products and the business opportunity to cut customers. Uh, and our revenue comes from the revenues from the sales that they make to customers and for the products they consume themselves. But just to be clear, you, earn, you generate revenues, you book it on your balance sheet as soon as you send the product out to your distributor. Yes, exactly. So so the product the yes, actually, so our revenues come basically from product sales, from product consumption made to distributors. So we're we're effectively a, a business to business. Our distributors are independent business people. Many of them obviously come into the business in order to be discount customers, but that's essentially our business model. We are selling to our distributors. How much do, would I pay if I was a salesperson to the person who recruited me? What percentage of my sales do I pay to them? So, so first of all, here's the most important thing. Um, for the mere act of recruiting, the person who sponsors you receives nothing. They receive no fee, they receive no remuneration, they receive no credit for any promotion of activity. So and the $65 or so that I pay goes directly back to Herbalife. Absolutely. And that's critically important because that is one of the fundamental distinguish, uh, uh, factors that distinguishes between a legitimate um, MLM company from a company that is not in compliance. Is so the is, initial fee. Correct. If I, if I sponsor or recruit a thousand people, I receive zero for that. I only start earning money from my downline, as we call it, only based on product sales or consumption. And that's the important thing. We are a product company, and so everything is focused on purchases for sale or consumption. So how much money, roughly, has Herbalife spent defending the company against these claims? You know, it's early days yet, because obviously, really, the reality is this only began just a few weeks ago. So, so we are incurring, you know, expense, uh, but we do not believe it's going to have any material effect in terms of our results. How, how is it? In, I mean, you hired one of the most prestigious, most famous litigators in the world, basically, with David Boies. Um, Sure. How is it not going to have a material sure. impact on sure. your balance sheet? Because, because here's the reality. The reality is that we've got a growing, stable business. Um, and in the whole scheme of things, the context of the income, of the amount that we're paying, um, you know, is relatively small. But again, here's what I would say. You know, we were only in this, whatever, just a few weeks. Mm -hmm. Obviously, this is something that we believe is going to be an ongoing situation, and we'll continue to review as we go along. Is Herbalife going to sue Bill Ackman? So what I can tell you is that we're looking at, 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 at all the options available to us. We believe that the statements that he's made um, represent gross distortions. We, we believe that he's made uh, knowing and willful misrepresentations. Um, in our uh, meeting with the analysts and investors today, we laid out a very compelling case showing numerous instances of these. Um, and again, as I say, we are simply we're, we're looking at all the options open to us. Historically, it seems like from various reports, the FTC has looked into your business model numerous times over the years. Why is that? I mean, the reality is this. In 32 years of operating, there is only one single instance anywhere in the world where a court has determined that we're not in, in, uh, in compliance with local law. That was a decision in Belgium. That decision is on appeal. And so the reality is that regardless of regulatory scrutiny in 32 countries, uh, 32 years in 88 countries, one single court. And as you know, that has had zero impact in terms of our, our business in the time since then. We got this Herbalife card from one of your distributors. One side advertises the products. Mm -hmm. The other side advertises the work opportunity. Right, right. Is this a fair characterization yeah, of your business? Absolutely, because remember, our business opportunity comes from the sale of our, of our product. 